Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a much requested Lewis Hamilton video. We're going to be looking at two things. His connection with Shakira. So it looks like they have a self-described beautiful, beautiful friendship. And that's what they've said so far. Um, as That's what they tell the media, the media outlets and, and reporters. So I wanted to go digging and seeing what is the true nature of their relationship? How do they actually feel about each other, right? So I'm going to I'm gonna do his and hers reading. How does Lewis Hamilton feel about Shakira? How does Shakira feel about Lewis Hamilton? And then when we're done, we're, I'm going to look into what is to come next for these two, okay? What are we going to see next from them? Like, what is coming next into their connection, all right? Um, I'm trying a new style where I'm going to just pull the cards as we go. And let's, let's do it that way. Let's see how that goes, okay? Okay, so I'm going to look into how is he feeling about her and then pull some cards on how she's feeling about him. Okay, let's begin. I've been feeling about Shakira recently. Okay, we're getting the Queen of Wands. Wow. So he's feeling like, man, like she's attractive. Like she is, you know, um, very magnetic to him that she is exciting fun um he feels very bold about her too he feels like she's very attractive did i say that already <laughs> um he feels that she's charismatic um that they're always having a good time together like she's good for laughs you know and she adds to his feelings of confidence and he feels like she's very confident as well um, feels like she's very independent. He just really is attracted to that energy within her, okay? Okay, that one's flipping. I'm not going to ignore that. <laughs> we have the world card, okay. Yes, he feels like... Um, like, she represents a new phase in his life, okay? He feels that Shakira is a new phase in his life. That... He, he's, he's wanting to take things to the next level with her. I think he wants to take things to the next level with her, especially with the Queen of Wands, which is that go-go energy, that energy of, like, um, I'm here to make it happen. Like, you know, very energetic cards here, okay? And so he feels he is ready to go to the next phase with her, okay? How does he feel about her? Mm, this is interesting. We're seeing the chariot. Psh, told you. He is ready to move this thing forward. He's ready to move into the next phase. He's ready to move forward with her. And he feels united with her. I can see multiple horses. They're coupled together here with the brittle. I feel like he feels that they are coupled together. And they're moving to, together towards a common goal. They're going in the same direction. Okay. And we're going to get more insight into what this is about. Um, he feels like they are a very successful connection, that they're in sync with each other. And he's wanting to make moves on her, guys. I definitely see these. The Queen of Wands is like, I'm attracted to her. <laughs> he's attracted to her, period. Okay? He's like, he feels accomplished because of her. He feels like, yeah, he just feels like she is it. Okay? This is the world card. is not a joking around card. Okay? This is serious. <laughs> this is like, he's feeling her. He's really feeling her. He is worried that because she's so popular, though, he is feeling like because she's so popular, um, maybe she she's not into him. That's another thing. I think he's worried that, like, he can't keep up with her. Like, she has many admirers, too. The Queen of Wands has many admirers. And he's, he worries him. He's kind of like, man, can I can I look good in a scenario like this? To, in her eyes, can I look good? This, this means he cares. He cares. He wants to make a hero. Okay, next we're seeing the Queen of Cups. He loves her, guys. Wow. He loves her. All right? Um, let me put this down. It's a loving and nurturing connection. He has love for her. Um, and he feels that... He's got strong feelings for her, guys. The Queen of Cups is about strong feelings. Like, I love you. I love you. I've got you. I care deeply about you. Yes. Um, and he's very much like... I love her and I care about her, okay? I think he's worried if she cares about him and loves loves him the same way. All right, let's see. I think you may feel, like, disappointed about something. Feel like maybe they're not go going the same places in life like he would want. They actually tried. And it feels like there have been some disappointments and feeling like she's not wanting to go in the same direction that he is. I don't think she loves him. I think he's picked up on the fact that she she doesn't love him the way he loves her. Yeah. Yeah, definitely seen that. Okay. Yeah, he's feeling kind of like a little burned out. A little burned out because of that. 
He was let down by her on a few occasions, I think. Yeah, he was let down by her on a few occasions. Love-wise. Now he's feeling a little burned out about the connection. Um, you know, feeling like... I think he's feeling like he wants more, right? Uh, or perhaps feeling like... Um, yeah, he's feeling about her like he's not open, like he's got his cups full with her. He's like, but she's everything I need and want. I don't want anything else. Look, he doesn't want any other offers. He's not interested. He's like, but she's got everything I want. And we're going to clarify these cards more. Don't worry. All right, let's take a look. What's going on here? How does this... Wow, okay. He's in love with her, guys. He loves her, period. He loves her. He loves her. Period. Um, he's feeling a very strong sense of connection with her. A sense of partnership. I feel like they've got some kind of joint goal, guys. There's something they're working on. They're, they're, yeah, and it, they're on cahoots together about something. He just feels a strong connection with her. And he feels that they're on the same page with a lot of things. And they're, they're very compatible. He feels that they have a lot of similar interests. Yes, it feels like they have a lot of similar interests. Okay. Oh, this, this, okay, we got one flying. Flying. Yes, he found, it feels like he found his ideal woman. Yeah. He's found his ideal woman, but he's keeping quiet. I don't I feel like Lewis has not opened up to people about how he feels about Shakira. Truly feels. Uh, I feel like he may not have told her either. Uh, the High Priestess is the card of the hidden woman. So I'm getting the feeling like he's got some secrets. It's like he's hiding her. He's hiding how much they actually feel about each other. How in love he is with her. He's hiding that. He's not saying anything about it to anyone. Um, he's waiting for her to say something. Okay, he's waiting for her to be the one to say something. Um, he feels... It feels like she's hidden from... He's he's hiding things from her. Yeah, he's hiding things from her. And we're going to get more insight into this as well. Of course, thank you. Okay, so we are seeing a U-shape. Like, you know, like uh, doing a U-turn. Oh, it could be a magnet. I'm also seeing that these are steps or stairs. Okay, he's very drawn to her. I got that magnetic vibe. He's very magnetized to her. You know, he's worried about how drawn he is to her. I feel that one. Yeah. I think that... Yeah, we got the Christmas tree. That's what I was seeing. Let me try that again. Yeah, the Christmas tree. So, I think he's worried, like... I think he's worried. Maybe she doesn't like the cold. He does, he's worried that she doesn't like it, it cold, like winter. You know, when I see the Christmas tree, I'm thinking, you know, snowy environments, right? Snowy weather. Right. I think he's worried, you know, I feel like he feels magnetically drawn to her. He's wanting to see if she'll be willing to move with him to somewhere cold. Yeah. She likes the sunny weather, guys. Yeah, he knows that. And he's like, I want her to come live with me in my cold apartment. <laughs> okay. Or something. You know, there's some building. I think he's got a really nice apartment. Uh, maybe he wants her to come visit for Christmas, too. Yeah, he's trying to get her. There's a goal he's trying to meet, guys. Lewis wants Shakira to come visit him for Christmas, I think, in London or somewhere cold where there are fir trees. You know, this kind of a tree, you know, the Christmas trees. Um, I think it's a Douglas fir or something. I don't know. But yes, he's worried about will she be able to come? I want to see if I can draw her in, pull her in. Okay. Yeah, it feels like he's been spending money. This card's green. He's been spending money to show her. You know, he's been dropping some bones, guys. Yeah, he's been spending money on her. And spending money on... I see someone crossing a bridge here over water to come visit with her. Look, we're seeing that high-rise building again. Yeah, he wants her to come visit him. He wants her to come visit him in, in London or wherever he's staying at. At some higher... Perhaps he has a penthouse or something. He wants her to come visit her there. And he's been disappointed because he's been trying to spend money on it. He's been spending money to come to visit her. He's been wanting her... It feels like he's been investing and it's not been it's not been coming out the way he wants. He, I feel like he made several appointments or they talked about it a few times and he, he, they would plan on it and then she would say, I'm canceling, I can't, I'm so sorry. She wouldn't come. Okay, we'll leave that there as well. Yeah, so we have the Six of Swords. And this is the person, the Six of Swords is usually that person on the boat who's wanting to move on to, a, you know, a better situation. Um... I think he feels like they're kind of stuck. Yeah. He feels like he, he wants there to be more action. Look at this this boil, this pot boiling. You know, when you see a pot with a broth boiling, just, you know, just the thick of it, you know, like almost feel like he may have even done spells or like he, he wants action from her. He wants more action. 
and he feels like they're just kind of stagnant and stuck like they haven't been making the movements that he wanted yeah so we see a girl running here he feels like she's a runner wow he feels like she is not wanting to stay put wherever he this building he wants her to come visit i think it's a penthouse i think he owns something he wants her to come visit he wants her to come visit him there um and i feel like shakira is not feeling it she's running away from that situation and i get a feeling because it's, it's cold mainly it's a weather issue i could i feel like that's what it is um the, he, her coming to this high rise would make him so happy he would be so happy if she did it but it's just not been happening. She, it feels like she's on the run. She's always flying, jet-setting everywhere. One moment she's here, the next she's in another. She never seems to have the time. She's always on the run, too. Um, she never seems to have the time to come visit him across the pond. I'm also getting, like, maybe... Uh, she, she's always on the run, and maybe he feels like she's running away from, from being in a relationship, being something more serious, okay? Okay, so it looks like he's seen... An eye is a protective symbol, okay? An eye is, is you know, looking out for things, right? Making sure things are safe, making sure things are guarded. Um, I feel that um, he's got his eye on her, guys. He's got his eye on her. He doesn't want anything else. Okay, okay we have like an alien or bug-like looking figure here. He feels... Okay, let me keep going. Thank you. Give me four cups. Right. Okay. Right. So here's what I'm here's what I'm thinking. Okay. I feel that Lewis has seen that she's very different from him in some ways. They are the same. They are the same. But in some ways, he feels like she's very different. And when ideas are given that are different from what anything she's used to, I get the feeling she's not interested. He feels like she's not interested in ideas that seem alien to her, that seem out of character for her. He's seen that. And he feels like, you know, even though he's he's given her gifts, he's given her gifts of jewelry. To show, to show he's interested, he feels like she's maybe not is she's not interested, yeah. In that aspect, relationship wise. He's putting all he's putting all of his eggs in her basket. Let me get a couple more for this one. It's like a UFO or something. What is this? Oh, it's a sunlight. Okay. It's like a lake. Okay. Setting. Maybe even rising. Wow, what weird. Weird dice. I'm getting some weird energies coming up for this Four of Cups. Charismatic. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it now. So he's all discombobulated combobulated by her. I, I think he's Goo Goo Gaga for her, guys. He's Goo Goo Gaga for her. Shakira. Lewis Hamilton is like... Man, like, she has him, yeah, I feel like he wants to live, sunset. he wants to grow old with her. He wants to grow old with her. I got this one here, the Three of Cups. He wants to marry her, guys, yeah, he wants to marry her. But there's some obstacles in the way. I think she's not as interested in it. And he just feels like it's either her or nothing at all. It feels like it's either Shakira or no one else. It's got to be her, he feels. With the Three of Cups appearing, it's possible that he's already married her. Okay, he's hiding from her that he he needs help with something or support. Okay, he wants her support and her protection. The four, when we see the tower, when we see turrets or castle kind of vibe, it's about being fortified. It's about being protected and surrounded by protective forces. He's protecting her or he's protecting her privacy even. He wants to be protected by her and supported by her. Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, take a but he's not telling her. He, he's look at that. He is just in love. He's like, you protect me. You support me. I want you. I love you. I'm so in love with you. And look, he's staying quiet. He's not telling anyone he's in love with Shakira. Mouth is zipped shut, tape shut. He's not telling her that he's in love with her. That he feels supported and protected by her. And that he feels a huge sense of vitality from her. He feels like she. He feels like she feeds his soul. That he supports her, like, like he, he that she supports him. That he feels a certain kinship with her. It feels like they're partners, that they're teammates, that they're strong, that together. And that is how he feels about Shakira. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how Shakira is feeling about Lewis Hamilton. Okay, and I'm gonna pull in the middle here. What's gonna be the outcome of their union? Like, where, where is this going? Right. What what's coming next in their connection? Shakira feeling about Lewis Hamilton. Okay, we're getting the lovers. Oh my gosh, guys. 
I'm seeing signs here that they are in a relationship, actually. Yeah, that's what I see. I see that they're in a relationship, but it feels like she runs from where he lives at. She runs from his neck of the woods, like where he lives, his home. Makes him very sad. Um, I feel that he feels very protected and supported by their relationship. We have a two of cups here. I feel that they are dating. Mm -hmm. They're actually dating. Yeah. The chariot, they're going in the same direction. They're linked. It's a strong connection. The chariot signals moving forward and being united towards a common goal. And making moves in love. So they're keeping their relationship, look, secret. There's something he won't say. What it is, is he won't say about her is that she's the one. <laughs> that they're compatible union. The sun card um, makes me think happiness. He's very happy with her. He, he feels like all the positive signs are there with, with their relationship. That, that He's just radiating love in their relationship. And he's very attracted to her. Uh, the sun represents a, compa a highly compatible union as well. It's possible that they've been already even secretly gotten married. That's another thing. Okay, that is another thing right there. Here we are seeing that she feels like he is the one for her. <laughs> wow. He, she feels that their connection is very special. Their partnership is um, or like blessed. Uh, we have the angel above blessing their union. And... She just feels very passionate and romantic about him. I feel like also she views him as like there's a choice to be made. She needs to choose him. There's a choice like I need to, do I want to choose him or or what, right? There's a some of that question here. So I think it's a very strong possibility they are together. Or perhaps they were in a relationship together and it didn't work out. And now she's on the run. She's like, I tried that and I would like to move on to something else. But they remain friends. There's a lot of ways to look at these cards. But I feel like there's a strong romantic thing going on between the two of them. Like either he's hanging around her simping. Or like they have a connection that's been hidden. They had a full on relationship that they that they currently still have. Or that they that fell apart. Right? They, 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 they broke up. But they are still friends. They're still friends. And he's had to be quiet about this whole thing. And he's being quiet about the fact that he still loves her. That he still wants her. That she is the one for him. He doesn't want anyone else. He wants to grow old with her. He goes goo goo gaga for her. He wants to marry her. All right, so let's go ahead and keep looking here. So how does Shakira feel about Lewis Hamilton? This is, okay, so, oh my, wow. <laughs> she feels very compassionate about him. She feels like she, she wants to work with him, okay? She wants to work with him. She wants to... Um, she wants to have the courage and the fortitude it takes to be with him. To be like, this is my man. Like, she she wants to overcome her, any issues she has in order to be with him and work with him. Huh? Okay, Sacred Spirit. Okay, thank you. How does Shakira feel about Lewis Hamilton? But, but, guys, there's a limitation. She feels limited. There's some idea in her head like, I can't. She's feeling like... Shakira, feel, yeah, she feels like she can't, okay? Um, let me see what it is that she can't in relation to this connection. She feels like stuck with their relationship. You know, I'm seeing a castle back here. We saw a castle there. You know, I feel like she's feeling uh, feeling insecure. She's feeling insecure about being with him. She she feels insecure. Um, and she feels stuck. So I feel like she's feeling insecure. It's something in her head. Something in her head makes her feel like, like she's in love with him. She's like, this is my soulmate. This is who I'm supposed to be with. This is him. But I can't. I can't. So there's some sort of limitation with she can't fully let herself have him. And we're going to get more clarity on that. Okay? Don't you worry. So it's it's some sort of self-defeating issue in her mind. Like she thinks, like for instance, I could come up with an example. Maybe I read that she was older. She's 46. He's 30 something. I think she feels like, gosh, it's him. But I'm too old for him. I don't want to claim this. I, won't, I don't want people to view me as a cougar. Like she feels insecure about something. Well, how does Shakira feel about Lewis Hamilton? Okay. Yeah, she feels like she's taking on a big load. Yeah, she, maybe she feels like she can't, as in she feels like the relationship is a lot of work, too. That's possible, okay? I feel like she has a lot of work to do. She has a career that she's working on, right? Um, it could be that she's just feeling like she has a lot of obligations and burdens in life, period. And she's feeling worn out and, oh, like, feeling like, man, I'm, she's like, I'm reaching the end of the struggle, man. I'm, I'm tired. She's tired. There's been some kind of long-winded struggle that they've been undergoing. Okay, Sacred Spirit, could you please tell me how is Shakira feeling about Lewis Hamilton? Oh, she's feeling pain too. All right. I feel like she knows that this is a, a like a soulmate or or a twin flame connection or something. 
but she's also feeling like overburdened by it. We're going to get more data into this, guys. Don't worry. We're going to get lots of data. We're going to look into this. We're going to clarify. We have the three of swords. She's feeling pain, like a, a, like a separation would be beneficial for them. We can get more information about that as well. How does Shakira feel about... Okay. Yeah. She wants time to pass. She wants there to be... Um, she wants to wait for a good time for them. She feels like the timing is off. It's not a good time. She's very busy. She's dealing with some sort of pain. I'm not sure what it is. Perhaps she had her heart broken by this connection in some kind of way. We're going to get... I'm going to tell you more about what this means in a little bit, okay? So, here's where, could you please tell me more? She feels a sense of teamwork with him. She feels a sense of teamwork with him. She feels like he is... Wow, look, another building. We have a building here. I can't. We have a building there. Disappointment. We have another building right here, right? We have buildings all around, really. Okay, and look, they're building a house together here. So I think there's a location issue, guys. Mm -hmm. She's feeling like she doesn't want to live where he lives. I think that's something else that's going on. She doesn't want to be where he's he's living at. She wants to work with him. But she's like, but it's so hard to make this work. There's so many obstacles and burdens in the way. Check your feel about this, Hamilton. Look at that one. She's, she's, um, hmm. She, she, prefers to hide, she prefers to hide their relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she prefers to hide their relationship. Wow. Okay. She prefers to be sneaky. She's hiding something. She has trust issues when it comes to him. Perhaps, um, yeah, and she's being like, not wanting to talk about it directly. She, okay. We're getting the two of pentacles. Yeah, I'm seeing someone juggling things, juggling locations, juggling people. It's possible she's dating someone else. I think it's possible that with the hiding something, secrets, see the person sneaking off, and then someone's juggling right next to it. They, they are. She's hiding that she's juggling him and someone else. I don't know how she could hide that since she's such a popular person and there's constantly paparazzi, people taking pictures of her. But I get the feeling that she's juggling him and something else. Or perhaps she feels like she has her hands full and she can't be focused on him the way he would like got that vibe here with the ten of wands okay let's get some dice for clarity be right back eight of swords six six we got the heartbreak and we got heartbreak here as well three of swords six seven of swords six. okay so i do think there's a schedule issue mm -hmm. and now we're getting big ben i think she doesn't want to go to england guys she doesn't want to go where it's cold. Maybe he lives in England. I don't know where he lives, okay? Maybe you guys know. You can tell me in the comment section below, okay? What do you think? I'm seeing that she is feeling... Okay, so I've adjusted camera best I can there. Hopefully the problem has been fixed. Let us continue. So I'm seeing that there's some kind of issue with um, schedules. Some kind of issue with time. I think she feels like they're not on the same time zones, maybe. She just feels like they're not in sync when it comes to timing. She feels like it's a, a matter of divine timing. Remember I told you, with the, see, the Wheel of Fortune. Feeling like it just didn't work out right time-wise. Perhaps she feels, again, age, right? Time. Age or just circumstances when it comes to timing is not quite right. It makes her feel insecure. She's feeling like if you're, if you're 10 years younger than me, you know, maybe she feels insecure about that. That's just one intuitive guess that I'm getting from this. Let me get more insight. Are you getting Jupiter, which is a good sign. This is about Jupiter represents good luck, right? Um, optimism, abund abundance, things working out right. I think she feels like there's not enough time. There's not enough time. Okay, we're getting. Yeah, she feels like she's too busy performing. Look, she's like my career comes first. Her career comes first, guys. She feels like there's just not enough time to do them. She doesn't have enough time for him. She feels like she's too busy with her career and she's been blessed when it comes to her career and that's kind of what she wants to focus on. And the timing, there's constraints there for her, okay? Here we're getting the Ten of Wands um, with there's a heartbreak here, okay? The, you know, she feels like her heart breaks when she thinks about all the work it's going to take to keep her career going and keep him going and keep their relationship going. The traveling, going to, I saw, I saw, you know, wanting to cross the pond, like travel. She's just like, this is too much. And I think she needs to respect that instinct and listen to her body. We're seeing, we're seeing someone exiting. Yeah, someone's exiting. Mm -hmm. She feels heartbreak about wanting to, let me see, let me get more. Okay. 
mm, air out her laundry, air out her laundry. I think that she she has heartbreak about the idea of people knowing all her, knowing all her secrets, like knowing all her business. Yeah, you know, airing out airing out your laundry. You know, that's kind of like gives me that vibe of like. But so what I'm seeing here is that she she likes to keep things in the dark. Look. Look, he's walking, this person's walking into a uh, space. I don't know if they're walking in or walking out, but there's a darkness, a shadow. So she's going in, actually. So she has heartbreak because she likes to stay indoors, right? And doesn't like all her business being out there, all right? Ten of wands. Six of wands. I don't feel, I just feel like she can't, she's secretive. That's another thing, she's secretive. Um, and then also I feel like, when look, are you eating a cupcake, drinking some juice or wine, and keeping an eye on that? I feel like she tries to watch her figure or watch her shape, keep an eye on her food intake, food and drink. Guys, I think that she, here's what I'm here's here's what I'm seeing. Shakira has a very heavy duty lifestyle, heavy duty. She's a world star. So she's constantly traveling. She's doing a lot to maintain her career. She does a lot around her regimen when it comes to eating and taking care of her body. She likes to keep her stuff private. You know, yeah. So anyways, but with the three of swords, we're getting, an, oh my gosh, a penguin. And where, where are penguins found? In the cold parts of the world. Shakira does not like cold, guys. I'm saying it here. It's a big deal. I see that. She, you know, there's worries because he, she doesn't want to be near where there's Christmas trees, right? Where there's like that kind of, of atmosphere or whether that grows Christmas trees, okay? I'm seeing here again a penguin, which represents cold weather. She doesn't like cold weather and he lives where there's cold weather. She doesn't like it. And I think this is the hidden woman I thought was a virgin in his last reading. I think she's the hidden woman. We have privileged. Okay, she feels that... She's torn she feels hurt about it because she's like i feel like i'm this is a good person but i don't want the cold yeah she's disappointed about that cold guys yeah let me do another row down here so this is for me the three of swords she wants to go chase her dreams guys i see someone here with a butterfly catcher going to chase their dreams chasing that beautiful butterfly and i see identity yeah her dreams are her identity. Remember I told you, that's her career. She feels like she's been blessed when it comes to her career. And that is what she does. She's a singer. Okay, that is what she does. We have the pyramid, which represents, you know, this was the, the tombs of the ancient Egyptians. And the tomb also is the source, is symbolically in Egyptology, represents the source of all life, the source of reality. Okay, that's what the pyramid shape represents. And I feel like she's like, I want to go chase my dreams. I want to stick with who I am. I want to go with where I came from, where my roots are. She's really, she's like, this is a soulmate connection. The lovers and the strength card being right beside each other is huge in the world of reading tarot for romance and relationships. Okay, so let's look at this here. Seven of swords, six of coins. Yeah, she wants to keep getting paid, guys. She doesn't want to stop getting paid. She wants to hold on to that. Could you please uh, clarify for me here the Seven of Swords? Oh, look at that. A ball. Is that a golf ball or a soccer ball? I'm not sure which. Okay, she doesn't. Let me see. Let me keep going. Six of Swords. Another ball. What? That's, that's crazy. Playing soccer. I got a soccer ball vibe. Even though this might be a golf ball, I got a soccer ball vibe from it right away. I think that she wants to avoid England, guys. I don't think she's a fan of England. She's not a fan of England. Maybe she feels like they don't pay her enough there or something. There's not enough money to be made in England for Shakira. And so she tends to want to, like, avoid that, where they play soccer. Six. Yeah. She, yeah, she wants to do her music. Something's frustrating to her about the music. She feels like opportunities are locked away from her when it comes to her singing. She doesn't want that getting disturbed. Traveling around the world. I get it locked. And then we have traveling around the world on the other side right here. So she feels she doesn't want to get locked to any certain location. She want, doesn't want to get locked to locations that deprive her of an income. That are not giving her plentiful opportunities. She prefers to avoid those kinds of areas. And she feels like that kind of area is linked with Lewis. Okay. Here we're getting someone digging a hole. We're getting labor here. So it has to do with work, I think, too. 
someone's eating, looking. We have the last judgment. A book and a teepee. Okay, we've got plenty here. Let's go ahead and work with this. <sighs> Guys, I, I just feel like she's all about her work. Yeah. Shakira is all about her work. Uh, she's all about temporary temporary residences, right? We see a hut here, and we see the circus tents. We see a teepee and a circus tent back here. And I think she wants to build a home. She wants to build a home with him. She wants to go live with him somewhere, but she doesn't want to be tied down to that property. Wherever they go to live together, she's like, but I'm not going to be like, that's not going to be like my home home, though. It will be the home we share, but it will not be the home where I live like that. Like, I, got, I have places I got to go. I got to go around the world. She doesn't want to miss out on that, guys. Her career is very important to her. She wants to get paid to do what she does. And I'm seeing here, too, that um, she feels like she's going to have to be gone a lot with the Seven of Swords. And um, when I was thinking that she's juggling someone or juggling people, I think it's Lewis in her career. Yeah, I see someone on a boat here. They're on a boat. She, I think Shakira would rather meet up on boats. She'd rather meet up at a dock. Hang out between countries. Hang, hang out on oceans between countries, between places. Um, she doesn't want to like necessarily pick like a place to live. Like be on solid ground and pin down somewhere. Like this is your residence. Like that is not what she's about at all. Period. Okay. Um, she wants to study too. She wants to evolve. There's something she's seeking to find out about. I think she wants to study her situation a bit more with Lewis, guys. She's, she's still considering it. She has a lot of anxieties, a lot of things that are in the way, a lot of just facts about her situation that she feels are not compatible with being married or being with Lewis like that full-on relationship and, and married and wed. That's what he wants. But And I see a lot of disappointment on her end. She's, and, but it's not because she just doesn't want him. She's just rejecting him. There are issues in the way. There's knowledge. that There's this actual data and information that gets in the way of their relationship. Okay? And I feel like she's going to study the situation a bit more, guys. That's what she's going to do. She's going to kind of keep it in limbo, kind of go back and forth between the two of them, juggle uh, Lewis, she juggle her career, do that for a while longer while she studies up her situation, studies up the logistics, the dynamics until she uh, reaches her revelation of what it is she's going to do. This is reaching that epiphany and being like, all right, this is what I'm going to do. I found my answer, right? Judgment card is about, you know, Putting the past behind you, having a rebirth, having a consequence, having reached a place of clarity on something that you're now willing to act on. I don't feel like she's there yet. She's still trying to figure that out. Okay. And that is what I'm seeing for them as far as how they feel about each other. Let me pull a few more cards. I'm going to use the same deck here. I'm just going to ask point blank. How, what's to come between the two of them, right? What's to come? Let's move these aside. Okay. We got one of the cards here. We're getting... The nine of pentacles. And I I'm back. Pen I had some technical issues. They are now fixed. Oh, those are crazy for me. But we are through that. Now, let's get back to what we were saying. I'm getting some independent vibes off of this. Nine of pentacles. So, but at the same time, I'm getting loyalty. So here's what I see is that what is coming between the two of them is they will continue to hang around each other. Okay. They will continue to be close friends. She will maintain her independence and he will be loyal to her anyway. Okay. He's going to be like, I'm by your side. I'm not going anywhere. Like, he's like, I'm with you. Okay. Amazing. All right. Let's get into looking. What's coming next between Shakira and um, Lewis Hamilton? We've got two swords. Right. Things will just remain the same. Things will remain the same. They're going to turn a blind eye to I making any changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's gonna, they're going to come to like a stalemate. Mm -hmm. Things are going to remain the same between the two of them. I feel like they'll still keep meeting on the water. They will still keep visiting with each other at each, you know, he will visit with her at her house for sure or wherever she's staying at. He's going to be with her. Hamilton. Wonderful. Guys, they're going to be falling in love with each other. Mm -hmm. They're going to be falling in love with each other. And I get the feeling their relationship is going to remain new because this is a sense of renewing love. Okay, the two of us relates to uh, a partnership. Uh, I'm sorry, feelings of love that are ever renewing. Okay. They never run out. It never runs dry. Okay. There's going to be a lot of peace between them. I see that, that here with the dove and the two swords. There's going to be a lot of peace. Okay. And we're seeing also the star. 
I think that there's a lot of hope in their situation, guys. There's a lot of hope. They're going to be focused on taking care of themselves, taking care of themselves individually, and also taking care of each other. Okay, there's a sense of self-care and having faith in their love. They're going to have faith in the love they have for each other. They're going to take care of themselves. Yeah, there's a lot of hope in this connection. They're going to feel a lot of hope about the future, despite things staying just the way it is. They're not going to... I don't see them changing the status of things, but let's keep going. What's, whoa, that one flew out. They're going to keep their partnership going, guys. Yes, they're going to keep their partnership going. They're going to um, be, be strong individually and apart okay so she's gonna know what she wants he's gonna know what he wants but they're gonna be looking out in the same direction okay okay they're gonna work hard at their connection guys they're gonna work on it they're gonna take it seriously they're gonna take it seriously they are going to take it seriously for sure okay they're gonna have a lot of passion guys they're gonna have a lot of passion i'm telling you she doesn't want to turn it into like a full on like a hardcore traditional relationship marriage she doesn't want that. She's willing to even build a residence together that they can both come and go. But I don't feel like marriage is a big part of it for her. But I get the feeling that they're going to they they are very into each other physically, sexually, <laughs> everything. They the the passion is high with these two, okay? They're very into each other. And that's what I'm seeing for both of them as far as what's coming next in their union they're going to continue to be with each other he's going to be loyal to her even, even though he's not going to get like a like a full-on commitment like a marriage out of her even though he will want that i got the three of cups uh he want to grow old with her and he's gonna he's gonna be like lewis hamilton's gonna be like you know what um even if you don't want to be married i'm still gonna grow old beside you like that's how he's feeling about her he's like whether we marry or not i'm here whether we marry or not i am here okay and that is what I'm seeing for their connection and as far as what is coming next. If you enjoyed this reading and have found it insightful, then please hit like, share, turn on the notification bell. And um, let me know, where are you watching this from? Okay. Uh, what state, what state or part of the world or country, what, what state, country or part of the world are you from? I would love to know. Thank you very much for watching. Take very good care of yourselves now. Bye.